How's it going everybody? Welcome back for this week's video. Now I just want to start this video off. Um, stay to the end. There is a special little soft announcement I guess which is which I'm pretty excited about so I hope you guys will be excited too so stick around towards the end of the video. Should be pretty quick but we'll announce it then. But today we're doing something that I've been putting off for a little while. Um, if you guys remember we did the Cypher steering wheel install and I just painted these black and you can see the orange peel um, and I'm just not overall super happy with it so I do have a little bit of black vinyl left so we are going to put this on the steering wheel steering wheel uh, trim I guess what you call it so should be a quick little video stick around for the announcement and uh, let's get started out um, just so you can see a little bit better all that orange peel and I wasn't expecting much it is spray paint but just taking this thing off I have to say this is by far one of my favorite modifications that I've done this car is the Cypher auto steering wheel I'm going to take apart the steering wheel controls and we'll get to work on the black vinyl <laughs> Just like that. Steering wheel controls are out. There we go. All right, so bare steering wheel, put this aside. Now we can work on wrapping these. I am gonna take these apart really quick. Um, it's pretty easy to take these apart. Just get your little flathead screwdriver, pry up on the edges. There's just the two tabs in the back. They just need to be pushed in. One, there's two. So I should have just enough left to do all of these. I'm gonna learn from my mistakes on the door handles. I'm just gonna use more than I need on this. All I have to do now is just cut out the pieces that I need. There we go. All right, I'll just go ahead and start the process on this. All right, and so with most, or at least some car things, doesn't, some things don't go as planned. So just for your reference, this is what the painted surface looks like. And I put one on right here. And while I think it looks better, you can see the wrinkles there. I just can't get that part to sit where I want it to. Um, and I mean, quite honestly, it's, it's a little hard to tell the difference at all. Um, on the left here is painted, on the right here is the vinyl wrap. So I think what I'm gonna do is we're still gonna keep this video to be fixing these things. But I'm gonna go to the hardware store and pick up some paint, and I think I'm just gonna try to paint these right. I'm gonna do this correctly, it'll look a lot better. Um, so I'm gonna unwrap this, I'm just gonna save this in case I need it for something else. I mean, I guess that's just kinda how it goes sometimes with car stuff. Um, obviously, I'm working on this. I'm gonna show you if I don't do something right. So, this is one of those cases where I just couldn't get this vinyl wrap to work. Um, I am a novice, so it is what it is. I'm gonna run to the hardware store. We'll be right back. All right, I just got back. Um, yeah, I had, I had to take a minute. I'm not as frustrated as I was a little bit earlier, but I, picked up a couple things. This Krylon Color Max Black Paint and Primer. Um, this color matches my other black pretty well. So if I can make this look good, then I'll be a lot happier than using the vinyl wrap. Also got two sheets of sandpaper, um, 320 and 1500. Hopefully this works hoping that it turns out, I mean, like the other things I vinyl wrapped, I just really couldn't get this to look good. 
And instead of trying to go through the process of doing all of them and just wasting vinyl, I figured, you know, I'll just try again at painting these. So hoping I can get some good results. Not a mechanic, nor am I a painter, nor am I a vinyl wrapper, but we're doing this all out in the garage today. You know, gotta learn, gotta try things for yourself. So if it turns out good, then I just put the final coat on and I have to say these ones came out a ton better than the old ones. It's not really focusing, but really, really like a nice finish, a lot less orange peel. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with these. I'm glad I did this over the vinyl wrapping. It just, it just wasn't working for me. All right, so my pieces are done drying. They're still a tiny bit tacky, but they came out way, way, way better than they were before. This one, you can see there's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of pitting just in those like few spots right around here. These ones came out really nicely. They all have a really nice little glossy shine to them. So super happy with these. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, stick them back on the steering wheel and uh, we can wrap this install up. All right, so there it is. The Cypher steering wheel now has a much better set of matching black trims. Um, these came out a lot better than the first time and pretty happy that I had to learn to fail to make it look right. Um, the vinyl wrapping just wasn't really working for me, for this piece at least, so I'm glad I went back and did it again. Um, if you look at the steering wheel every day, you're gonna notice the imperfections but I think these came out really nice, a lot better. So they're matching the uh, piano black dash trim a lot more accurately now. So I'm super happy about that. So I'm sure you're wondering about my little announcement. Um, so here it is. Basically the car is panning out really as I want it to. Um, it's everything I wanted to um, do to it as far as mods go. There's a lot of cosmetic things that I still want to get done. Um, but there's been one modification on my mind. I am trying to figure out this YouTube thing in a way that it can be a job, it can make money, things like that. I'm not the type of person that wants to ask for money. I don't wanna make a Patreon or a GoFundMe or anything like that. Just as like a soft launch, I'm gonna make another video on this uh, later on. Personally, I'm a pretty like creative, artsy person, I guess, and something that I've been really kind of trying to explore has been like graphic design and I really like automotive themed clothing um, I buy YouTube clothing sometimes from people that I genuinely like following what I've done is I started a little site up with some cool designs that I made for t-shirts that are MX5 branded um, and some other kind of interesting designs on there so I'd appreciate it more than you guys know if you check out the site it is in the description below I think there's probably like 12 items on there now. Everything, I, I tried to make it as low price as possible. Pick yourself up a shirt if you like them. 
Um, it'll genuinely help me out. Um, and the code you can use to get $2.50 off, which is basically makes everything less than 20 bucks, is 25SWAP. So if that doesn't tell you what I'm trying to save up for, then you'll have to wait till I announce it. I actually picked up a iHeart MX5 shirt myself. I got the Enki RPF1 branded wheel because I love my RPF1 wheels on my car. I'm not gonna hound you guys about buying shirts. I'm a pretty humble person when it comes to that sort of thing and I don't wanna ask for money like I said, but I do wanna give something back to you guys in return for helping me. So you get a cool shirt. It's not like branded all over or anything else like other YouTubers might do. So just go check out the site. Like I said, link in the description. As always guys, make sure you stay tuned for more content. I make a video once a week. I do live streams every single Sunday. So make sure you tune in for those. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this little install video. It's kind of just a day of tinkering, um, just making things right, wrapping things up a little bit. So if you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave your comments below. If you haven't already and you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button to receive all my videos in the future. Hope you guys have a great week. See you guys in the next video.